Hello, I'm Father Kabicki of the Apostleship of Prayer, and today I'd like to share with you something that today's saint, an early church bishop named Hilary, wrote. St. Hilary was at one time a non-Christian who sincerely sought the truth. His search led him beyond the common belief in many gods to the conclusion that there must be one supreme being, one God. His reflective reading of the first five books of the Bible and the Gospel of John led him to become a Christian when he was 35 years old. The following passage is from a book he wrote on the Blessed Trinity. And in it, he writes eloquently of the great love God showed us in becoming human. He begins by asking, how could we ever make a return to God for loving us so much? And he says, how can we make a fitting recompense to God for stooping down to us so graciously? The one only begotten God, born of God in a way that cannot be described, is enclosed in the shape of a tiny human embryo in the womb of the Virgin, and grows in size. He who upholds the universe, in whom and through whom everything came into existence, is brought forth according to the law of human birth. He at whose voice the angels and archangels tremble, and the heavens, the earth, and all the elements of the world melt, is heard in the cries of a baby. He who is invisible and incomprehensible, who cannot be judged by the reckonings of sight, sense, and touch, lies wrapped in a cradle. God, through whom humanity came into being, was under no compulsion to become human himself. However, it was necessary for humanity that he should be made flesh and dwell among us. He made our flesh his home by assuming our body of flesh. We have been raised up because he has stooped down to us.